been about two months since I've last uploaded, so today I'm just going to give a uh, brief overview of everything I've done in the past two months. And the first thing you can see right away is grass is starting to grow back here. Uh, I got all the gravel and dirt back in the ground and the fringe drain system is in and it is working pretty good. Um, <clears throat> So yeah, you can see right there, got a drain right there, another one right here. I got the downspout connected to the French drain system too. Another one right here, another French drain system. Or, uh, downspout connected to the French drain system and this one right here uh, it doesn't get much use water doesn't drain through here but it's kind of just as a, uh, a safety measure because this is the crawl space into the house um, so if water ever just comes crazy down through here uh, it'll catch it right here And it all leads out to the wood line back here. And there's another one right there too. Just an extra one for the yard. And I have a Y in here. I'm going to run this side of the house uh, to the French drain system. You know, once all this gets taken care of. Because I think I've showed this a few times already, but the grading here is a major issue. And that is something that needs to be addressed uh, rather soon. So, these be graded all the way down to right here. And I'm thinking, you know, probably this hill right here, the small one, is probably going to, you know, need a retaining wall down through there just to ever keep, you know, erosion from happening again. Because apparently when the house is built, you know the ground was down a couple feet um, you know it looked like it was over there so I gotta do some stuff to uh, prevent that in the future but uh, we'll go inside so I haven't done too much work in the past month or two it's just been so not too much has changed in here since my last video on this side of the house at least um i've kind of just been working on the other side trying to get all that wrapped up and uh then i'll move over to this side but this side of the house doesn't near, need nearly as much work as what we've done over there so as you can see ripped out everything absolutely nothing on this side of the house um, just went ahead and replaced everything so yeah I think in my last video nothing was down like holding up this side of the wall so got all new lumber it's all nice and supported uh, none of this is we're going to redo this whole window area um, but yeah everything is nice and level and it's looking good so the major thing that I just got done a few days ago was this main beam right here uh, in the last video I only had this half done and these two beams were uh, still holding up that side of the house and I thought about it for a couple weeks just leaving these in here uh, I mean, these beams are over 100 years old, and there was a little sag to them. And I was like, you know what? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm here already. Might as well just replace it. Uh, I mean, it's probably $40, $50 of wood just to put some new beams in. And I'd feel way better about it. So, got these two replaced. They went in super easy. 
And you can see that's kind of the method I use to replace these beams. Uh, I'd stack up these blocks about three, two or three high. Then I'd start stacking, you know, some wood. And uh, then over there, I'd use those uh, lifts, those jacks, and lift up the house or each one of those floor joists, you know, about an inch. And uh, just go down through there until I got it lifted up high enough to take the old one out and uh, prop the new one in. Uh, yeah, and I, put, I just put those bolts in too. Pretty ridiculous. I bought, I think 12, 12 bolts, three in each one. It's like $50, but you know, I kind of needed it. It was only held in by like screws. So got some bolts in. I don't even know what you would call this. I rigged this up, you know, where the each beam is separated just to make it kind of look connected all the way down through there, like one big beam. Um, but it is, it is level. It is super level. And that is something that <laughs> I don't think this house has seen in probably 40, 50 years. Uh, and just to make sure everything stays level, I just poured these these little slabs right here uh, and it's not really to hold the house it's kind of just to prevent sag in the future so I'm gonna take all those uh, you know wooden molds off and uh, I'll start putting some blocks up there and trying to make it uh, get it as close as I can to the uh, the beam but they're they're centered uh, right in the middle, just to uh, prevent any sag in the future. So, yeah. Uh, you now, as we're here, we'll talk about the plumbing. So, this is kind of the next step right here. Uh, you know, plumbing and floor joists. And they kind of go together, and I need to do them at the same time, but I'm kind of you know, saving money for uh, the grading, so it's just a process and it's going to take some time, but you know, that's pretty good that, uh, you know, I'm not rushing it. I kind of recommend that to anyone who's working on a project like this. Like I know getting it done and, you know, wanting to live here is important, but, you know, making sure it's done right and having time to think about, you know, alternate, uh, you know layouts and options and things because if you just rush through it you're going to do like the first thing you can think of and uh i'm not even joking i've probably had like 10 different ideas for this bathroom so i think i've kind of reached one now that i'm a big fan of so that is the layout of the bathroom right there from the top the walls and this closet was in the bathroom, but it was for the master bedroom where I'm sta standing in right now. Um, we're gonna turn the, and the door was right here, and we're gonna turn the door to right here. So this will be a bathroom closet, and we're gonna rip that out right there. And, you know, this like air pipe for the uh, drainage ran through the wall. There's a little wall in the bathroom. And, you know, my original idea was just to leave it and build out the bathroom around it. Um, and I'm kind of glad I decided not to go that way because it would have been a bad layout because the only option for the toilet would have been, like, right here. Like, see where that square is? Like, and it would have been right by the door. Um, so what we're going to do is this wall right here. This is a six-inch wall. So this will be a six inch wall. It was originally four inch. And we're gonna do it that size so we can run all the piping up through the wall and like, you know, into the toilet or into the, you know, the system or, you know, into the sink and just make things, you know, a lot nicer. So that's what we're gonna do right there. We're gonna push that back. We're gonna replace this, you know, big ass metal pipe with a, uh, you know, PVC one, run it through the roof. Uh, 
and then you know the sink can be like right here and the toilet can be over here but that's kind of the next thing right now and it's gonna be a couple hundred bucks to to buy some stuff uh, but you know I want to get all that you know plumbed before I put four joists down and four and down so that's why things are kind of going slow at the moment I kind of need everything to line up and it's just gonna take some time uh, I don't think I talked about this yet so this was all this work right here this was a, a major project and we we did most of this in one day uh, we just got in the zone and kept working so this side was a lot easier to put in uh, the seal plate in because over there it was a nightmare um, all the way to the house was over there and you know it took like five jacks and it took us like a month or two to get it you know it level or high enough to get this under up under there but all this went under here super easy um, so yeah this is the master bedroom uh, yeah for privacy reasons I wanted to wall this off because right behind this window uh, is my neighbor and uh, you know that's where they sleep and stuff too and uh, you know just privacy reasons and layout reasons too because I didn't really have many options to where I was gonna put my uh, bed in this room because right here I'm gonna put a door in here and this is gonna come up like the master bedroom closet so the bed can't be over here there was a window right here and a window right here and I didn't really want to put my headboard against the window and then the only other option was to put it against you know this wall so I just thought that was weird walking into a room and you just see the foot of the bed so I think this is the best option and layout for the house uh, walling this off and as you can see this is a big ass window uh, we framed out I think it's either six feet like 72 inches long 60 inches tall um, I'll have to show you the window I got for it I'm gonna get for it I picked out so I'm framing out all the windows uh, right now for the ones that I want and the look that I want you know and I'm pretty specific about it you know I want a nailing flange for it you know just to make sure it's airtight and uh, there weren't many options for the big window that have you know that nailing flange that I want so that's the size I went with um, but yeah you can see all these you know all this is gonna come off too we've decided I've decided we're just gonna you can see it's kind of two layers of wood so here's this old I think it's like oak that's wrapped around the house uh, I mean this stuff is bad and you know back here is good over there is really nice you know big boards but I think I've decided I'm just gonna take all of it off and all of this nickel siding off and just put new stuff on and I'm gonna I'm still gonna keep all this stuff because it's still really nice and old wood I think I'm going to rework it into the house, either, you know, the ceilings, some accent walls, but you can see there's some, there's just a lot of gaps in there. I want it nicely insulated. So I'm going to take all this, all this off and just replace it with, uh, you know, some new stuff, but I'm going to keep it. It's, it's, you know, it's nice wood. You can see some of it's already, you know, we ripped off or falling off. So, and you know that nickel siding looks okay, but I'm just gonna go ahead and replace it. So, it's another couple thousand dollars worth of wood, but uh, you know, it's worth it in the long run, I think. Get it done, get it done nice now, just never have to fuck with it again. Uh, I'll talk about the four joists some. So, I got some over there some floor joists and we're gonna you know put some in I think we're gonna start down here 
and just work our way down. Uh, but we're gonna have to, you know, rig up something to uh, get some precise cuts because we're going to have to notch the end of uh, each one of these floor joists. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, so this is pressure treated plywood. I've already ripped, you can't see it, it's behind there, but all these pieces, I have enough to go on both sides of the house. And it's gonna be like a barrier, you know, cause I didn't get, I'm not gonna use pressure treated uh, floor joists. So it's a, it's a barrier and we're gonna stick you can see, this is why we'll have to notch it. We'll cut off like a quarter, quarter of an inch right here at the top, about, you know, an inch and a half. And it'll slide right in there perfectly. And uh, we'll nail it down from the top and from the outside. We'll go all the way down through there. And I think it's going to be super nice, super stable. And I think that is going to be really good. And we'll go all the way down through here. Uh, and I'm going to get a ton of ton of more pieces, cut them up. I, I don't know what it's called, but the stuff you put in between the four joists, you know, just to strengthen it up. Two or three between each one, all the way down through here. We'll deck all the way down this side of the house because... It really is optimal right now because there is no walls to go around, so it's going to be super easy just to deck everything. Um, so we'll deck everything. Then <laughs> it's this side of the house, and we'll do basically everything I've done over here, but over there. Uh, and I'll rip all that flooring up. I'll take all of those floor joists out, and we'll replace the seal plate on that side of the house just like this one, um, which, you know, the pride, I'm, you know, I'm working on this with my dad and my uncle and, uh, you know, they have mixed feelings on that. You know, it, the wood over there, like the seal plates, you know, it's fine, but I'm just gonna go ahead and replace it. I just want pressure treated and you know, I, it's a good opportunity to rip everything off and to, you know, just inspect and make sure and check out what's going on everywhere. Because, you know, once I put this flooring down, I really don't want to come back down under here ever again. Because that's the only entrance that, uh, from right there, you can see it's, it's not a lot of space to work down in here. And once the flooring is down, but... I don't think that side's gonna be too long or too hard either, because lifting up on the house, uh, it won't be an issue, because it'll be so stable, all the weight over here. Uh, and it won't take long too, because there's no plumbing over there. Um, and you know, I'm not gonna be pouring more concrete. Well, I guess actually, yes, I will be pouring more concrete. Uh, you can see, uh, it's kind of hard to see actually. There are like five or six openings on that side of the house. And I really don't know why. Maybe just to get access to stuff. But I'm going to fill all of those in. So that's another concrete project in the future. Uh, another project in the concrete project in the future is uh, I got to start busting this thing up right here. Uh, you know, I, it looks fine, but it is, it is a problem right now. So there's some space right there between the wall and right here. And it's really hard to see on camera, but this is not level at all. So when it rains, water will come down sloped and get you know, stuck in between here. Uh, and that's just not good. But as you can see, I was telling you earlier about the grading. We have to get it graded super low. 
you know, and that's the top of the block right there. So I'm probably going to get like two feet of grading on this side of the house. Um, so once that's done, you know, I think this will be okay. But what I'm planning on doing for this, I'm going to bust this up and re-pour it. Uh, I'm going to make sure it's a lot lower to the ground. So the top of it's probably going to be like right here. And then I might have a little step up at the door. Um, I think that'd be better for, you know, bugs and, uh, you know, keeping bugs out of the house and water out of the house if this was just a lot lower. So that's something I got to start working on relatively soon. Um, you know, a lot more work is about to get done. You know, it's starting to cool down here some. It's just, like I said, been unbelievably hot. And... You know, there's no AC in this house, so it gets really fucking hot. No insulation, too. So, yeah, it's been a uh, it's been a lot of work, been a lot of fun. Got some, got a lot of work to do though. Got to get back to it. You see, just tools are starting to pile up like crazy. I need more and more stuff all the time. You know, I just got this light too. Highly recommend that from Home Depot. I think it's dark down here. This thing it lights up the whole the whole damn house. But yeah, I I think that's about it. Uh, I think I'm gonna try to you know document it better. I've only been doing you know every other month month or two uploads or recordings. You know I. I'd like to keep more, uh, get more video to document what I'm doing, you know, just to, you know, see progress and how I'm doing and, you know, how the build is going. So, you'll be seeing more from me soon.